<laughs> Happy Halloween! Focus team on it. Oh, you have to get a regisseur of so here? My name is Fate Intervention. Hello, I'm not clear. We don't care. It's my show now. Fate with a view. Uh, uh, it's ahead. Fate with a view. Because I have a view. I have a view. Praise the Lord and say Amen. It's looking like the devil saying praise the Lord. Praise the Lord and say Amen. <laughs> amen. Boo. Boo! My name is Roo. And my name is Fate in Taboo Vention. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here to review, reboo. <laughs> reboo. We are here to review Trackways Holland. Season 1. Episode 6. I don't know what the title of this episode is. What's the title of the episode? The makeover episode! Oh, uh, it the takes day? two. That's the title. Uh, it takes two with that handsome man. This one. You're so tiring. It takes two! With a very special Halloween edition of the Room View. Yep. We decided to get a little spooky, ooky, hello, ooky up in this house. <laughs> For everyone who says that I look like Victoria Elizabeth Black, here you go, you're welcome. For everyone who says that Fate looks like uh, she robs a bank, you're welcome. Give me your money! <laughs> <laughs> I think the only thing that should be given to us is the episode. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the ghost. No, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. Jesus. Trying to punish you. Jesus always here. I'm telling you. <sighs> okay. Um. <laughs> Girl, I need to clean my sins, okay? Let's just get into, the, into this episode. Okay? Let's go, girls! Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a second. For the record, we are dating, okay? We're not dating. We're a couple. We're no, in a relationship. Sorry, I thought we were we dating. We live together in I this thought, house. I thought we, we, we were dating. So it's not just my partner or a friend. It's my man. It's my, 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 not yours, my man. Ooh, Abby is a winner, girl. Abby is drag race. <laughs> Abby comes in like, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Jenny. And Jenny's like, for what? What? And I'd be like, I said your best, best friend. friend. And Jane's like, yeah. And I'm here to win. <laughs> you can't come in. Yeah. No. Yeah. Abby's being emotional. Mm -hmm. Janie's like, you should have gone home. Why are you still here? Yeah. We love Abby. Yeah. Okay. Because I think it's important to say we love the queens. Every time we say something bad, because people think we hate them. We don't them. say something bad. We don't hate them, okay? We laugh about how people are being portrayed yeah. on this show. We laugh about me. We laugh about <laughs> Fate. We laugh about Fred. We laugh yeah. about the show. We laugh about the de decor. We laugh about the production. We laugh about everything. Yeah. If you think that's being hateful, being negative, then go watch uh, the Teletubbies or something. I don't know. Abby's <laughs> like, who is next week? I'm sending them all down. Now it's getting real in the top five. Ah. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Girl, I'm triggered. <laughs> hip, hip. The scariest thing this Halloween. Lazy versus dress. Nah. This was the weirdest segment of the entire episode. They're bringing a tray of desserts. Yeah. Like, what's up with that? Doesn't even have to do with the challenge. With Mona though, I love, we love Mona. Oh. Ah, Nick! Nick? The queens have yes. to do a challenge. It's kind of inspired by first dates, by the bachelor. They're inviting a straight guy. Yeah. I have no clue who he is. He looks I know kind him of... very well. <laughs> okay. They have to go on a date with Nick, who is like a finalist from The Bachelor. I don't know, I don't watch straight people television. Um, ik heb een gejeuk in mijn hoofd, echt hoofdpijn as fuck. Ja, jij maakt een week over spinnenweb. Je had dat van spinnen zitten. Spinnen zitten? Roodjes. Roodjes. 
Cockroaches. 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 Yeah. No, 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 no. I was visiting my grandma in Bonaire. And we have like this big cockroaches there. It was dark in the room. I was like walking. I opened the door. I felt something touch my head. Girl! I was like, That's it. was like, so that's what happened. So now it's the cockroaches. I'm depressed. I have traumatic. Traumatic. <laughs> traumatic. <laughs> traumatic. <laughs> traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> my name isn't cockroach. I fell from my hair. Dutch education lessons. Kakker lakken. Kakker lakken. Kakker lakken. Kak. Er. Lakken. Kakker lakken. Cockroaches. They have to go on a day with Nick. <clears throat> And they have to save the save the day, blah blah. Very. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> it's a mini challenge. Very fun. Mama Queen looks great. I don't care about these mini challenges. What's really fun is that Chelsea Boy is doing a reference to. Uh, it's not really a drag mom. It's like she's living with one of the most famous Dutch drag queens, Snorella. Uh, it's actually really fun. She lives with her. And I thought it was really fun to that she did like her as a character for this challenge. Yeah. Love it. They're all talking about dating, blah blah blah, gay stuff. Grinder. I love how Janie has a different signature move every episode. Envy looks great as well. Envy has a tendency to sit on men, basically every episode. <laughs> Mama Queen looks so great. Mama Queen is also doing great. Yeah. Well. Congratulations! <laughs> this is so funny. It's like you're winning a vacation to Rotterdam, and all inclusive in a hotel. And Mama McQueen's like, I live there. <laughs> no, mommy. She looks like her mom, though. Yeah, Mama Peru. Hola. Mama McQueen is just as tall as her dad. Yeah, Miss Envy Peru. Brings her mom. Uh, Abby brings her brother. Yeah, Chelsea boy, her best friend. Mama Queen, her dad. Yeah. And Janie, also her mom. Yeah. Uh, fun, fun group of people. Yeah, love it. And of course, for first season, doing family is really fun. Yeah. Uh, who would you have chosen? My best friend. Yeah. 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 Yeah, of course. Jordan. I would have chosen you. You were my first option, uh, but uh, of course, Faye was just getting into drag around the time, so they were like, "Yeah, she already has some experience with drag, so you can't do that. It has to be someone who has basically never been in a face of drag." So I would have also chosen my best friend. The pictures are on Instagram. It's a really fun shoot yeah, we did together. It's really great. So Faye's intervention. Who is there entering the workroom? Rianne van Dorst. How? Rianne van Dorst. How? Rianne van Dorst. I thought her name was Rianne Dorst. Mama Queen did uh, Rianne van Dorst last week at Snatch Game, and now she's here in the workroom. Um, fantastic. She's there to talk with the queens about everything she's there to talk with the queens about their personal life and uh, i'm glad that rihanna is doing it because yeah. it feels like a fresh breath of air <laughs> she's fierce okay she's like huh you did me mm, i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even get a cocktail in the first episode like we just got some cola i mean where's my cocktail rihanna van doris is uh, going around the workroom to ask the girls about yeah. their the be their backstories and all and I'm glad that um, we're getting some backstory on the queens uh, the, the message that Mama Queen brings is basically uh, you can change yourself other people but does that make you happier and uh, is that the goal of your life and I, I fully agree with what she's saying mm -hmm. so for some of these queens we already kind of know what their yeah. backstories is but I feel like they are not showing a lot from Chelsea Boy I'm like no. We we get a lot from just about, about her drag and about what inspires her, but like mm -hmm. I don't really know a lot about her about her youth, about how she how she grew yeah. up. I don't, yeah. and they're not showing it. And I thought this was like a great chance to do it. Yeah, it was a great opportunity, though. But 
Yeah. What's really sweet is that actually Abby's brother is straight and I couldn't imagine my straight brother ever wanting to get in drag. So um, that's really supportive. And uh, you don't see that a lot. No. <laughs> and Abby's mom is such a cutie. Yeah. She looks like <laughs> a Pixar character. Yeah. <laughs> I love Envy's hair. Envy with great. long hair. Yeah. Guapo. I don't know what that means, but I agree. Is that Aiden Zane's wig? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah! A ghost! God damn it. Ow! Hey! Don't touch my face, asshole. Raap mijn gezicht niet meer aan. Wacht. Nou maar hè. But you're going to walk. Ja. Yeah. Oh! What? Girl. <laughs> she's walking on sandals. I can do that too. Sander Wallace and Vries would have read that for Felk. Schoeisel. Schoeisel? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Daddy is Sitting cool. that walk. Yes! Yeah. Daddy Queen immediately looks like an old drag queen. Love it. She's like, it feels like a massage. Yeah. Envy's mom literally looks like a glamorous lady. Like, yeah. you can see her in Sephora, just walking around looking for her new eyeliner, new lashes. Love her. Mama Queen is so proud. Yeah, she's like, ah. She looks just like Janie. She looks just like Janie. Hey, Hans. Hey, Hans. Hans Anders. Mama Queen's dad is immediately in the role. He's like, ooh, ee, he's ah, sassy. ooh. I love Fred's dress. Fred, you look great. Yes. Wish he'd, he would have done like the hair normally, yeah. not in a, in a ponytail. Yeah. Like it was meant to be. I but, can't uh, relate. <laughs> we love you, Nikki. I like Nikki. I actually do. I like her too. She's just not the best judge. No. Loisa is a transgender model. She won Alan's Next Top Model, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then also in the yeah. jury is uh, Rihanna Dorst, Rihanna van Dorst. <laughs> We're not gonna get negative to Nikki Pless. And like, we can laugh about her, we yeah. can make jokes about her. Uh, but at the end of the day, she's a great person. She's actually yeah. really sweet. She said a lot of sweet things to me on television that never made it on the air. Mm -hmm. So probably other episodes as well. She's just not the best drag race judge, period. I think that should have been said. It's just television though. It's just television, not that serious. So don't get her wrong. Yeah. Kinda looks like my promo hair as well. Yeah. The category of this runway is family resemblance. Yes. No misinterpreted <laughs> runways this time. It's simply transforming someone to look like you. And actually they also said try to theme it in a way that's connecting you a little bit. First couple on the runway is Miss Abby and her brother Victor. What would be his drag name? Vicky Oh My God? Yeah. Vicky Oh My God. Vicky Oh My God. Yes. Miss Vicky Oh My God. Vicky, he looks like a Vicky. Yeah. Uh, he also looks stunning. <laughs> yeah. I really uh, like the theming. I yeah. like that it's very different out of the box for Abby. Mm -hmm. uh, very uh, themed, not just pretty. Um, I like that. It's, it's, it's very punk. It's very Mortal Kombat, I uh, love it. The outfits could have been a little bit more um, elevated. Yeah, it's it's this is more like a cosplay yeah. uniform, something. But I'm not the queen to judge that. Yeah. I, I like that uh, with drag. And I think that our Vicky, oh my God, looks stunning. Yeah. He looks like uh, a queen who has done drag for like half a year or something. <laughs> And then strut on the drag race runway. Um, gorgeous. And it looks like it could be Abby's family member. Yeah. They're almost naked, so it's great. And next, on two llamas are Envy Peru and La Mama Peru. Yeah. Uh, love it. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Colorful. Awesome. Yeah. Um, she looks like how Envy Peru would look like in like 30 years or something. Yeah. Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I love that they have a bit of a goofy side with the llamas. Yeah. I love how you can see uh, Envy's heritage back yeah. in her makeup and the hair. I'm obsessed yeah. with the hair. It's beautiful. I love how Envy's doing a silhouette that's 
similar to what NV is doing, but also very different from what we've seen. Yeah. Next is Janie JK and her mother, Petra, uh, Queen Mother. What would be what would be her dragon? Petra Pate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Janie JK and Petra <laughs> Pate. <laughs> this is a cute outfit. Yeah. It's like going to a gig, wearing a cute outfit. Yeah. But for, for a makeover, it's a bit basic. Yeah. I expected something more because the dress that her mother is wearing, I'd be like, okay, you, you can wear it to go to a party or something. Yeah. So it's indeed, it's very, very basic. But Janie did an amazing job on her mom's makeup. Like, yeah. looks really gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, nothing bad to say about that. Uh, and they actually look like mother daughter, which yeah. is really cool, really mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's it's a very safe outfit. It's not that it's a bad outfit. It's just very safe. It's not bad. It's just safe and basic. You. It's not bad. At this no. point in competition, you have to prove yourself. Yeah. Talking about prove yourself. Let's see. Oh, right from outer space, right from Mars. It's Chelsea boy and her best friends. Jacob. Jacob. What would be uh, Chelsea boy? Jacob's boy. Jackie boy. Jackie boy. I love this. Yeah. It's a Mars Attacks reference. Really great. Uh, I love that we see this on the show. Juno Birch, Google it. <laughs> <laughs> this this is great. Yeah. I love everything about this. And all the the the, the stuff that they said that it's too simple. No. It's a look. Okay. It's a full look. They have props. Yeah. It's red and blue. It's like an entire theme going on. Yeah. This is exactly what Chelsea Boy would do for, for a makeover. Yeah. It's it's a beautiful look, um, but I think it's not that special. So don't get me wrong. I love Chelsea Boy, but just for me, I think it's not that special. It's a very referential look. Yeah. So that makes it great. It, yeah, that makes yeah. it great. But it also is a it's a downside because if you don't get the reference, it's like I can understand that you are like well, it's not that special to me. I love that that she did this. Yeah, and uh, very Chelsea boy. Yeah, alien queen taking over. <laughs> and next on the runway is Mama Queen and Daddy Queen Hans. Hans is really important because Hans is a it's really a typical Dutch name. Yeah. Okay, Hans, Hank, Piet, Jan, Jan Kees. It's it's a very simple look. It's like a dress and the dad is wearing the same dress and a legging. I think the story is more interesting than the look. I think it's great for Daddy Queen because it's not that extra. I'm not really a fan of this. No. Uh, I think Daddy Queen is enjoying it and it's, as you said, it's great yeah. for him because it's not too much. But then again, Mama Queen is a very conceptual queen. We've seen great stuff from her on this yeah. runway. And this doesn't yeah. really have a story to me. Yeah. yeah, she's pregnant, but like we've seen that before. Yeah, like, mm, yeah. I can imagine you're not a fan of this look, but yeah. as I said, I think it's a story that makes it. Cause. But what I do love is that Daddy Queen is wearing the iconic Mama Queen stripper shoes, the platform shoes. Yeah, uh, that's typical Mama Queen and. He is walking in those shoes, so mm -hmm. I'm, I, I, I can do it, so props to him. Oh my god, no! No! Don't get me what, it's not a legging, okay? From a distance, it just looks oh, like a legging. It's, it's a full-on dress. It's a dress. Excuse me. It's still basic. They look like expensive ladies. Yeah. You know those old ladies thing in the bus, like... Hi, how are you? <laughs> There, there are only like five people on this runway. I'm like, yeah. Where is everybody? I, I feel like every time the runway ends, I'm like, where's the next one? Even though the Daddy Queen Hans isn't does not understand everything about drag and identity and stuff like that, he's really supportive though. And believe it or not, it's really a blessing to have parents that support you in that way. For a drag queen, drag is something special, it's something, it's really a part of your life, so it's really special to have people that really love, that really loves you to support you in that way, so I am really, really proud of Hans. He, he did really great. Wish uh, he was my father. Though. No. <laughs> 
and the judges are saying that they miss something in the act. Um, I feel like everyone's talking about acts, but I feel like they're not showing us everything on the runway, maybe? No. Because I feel like, am I missing something? Yeah. What I think that is really beautiful is that the parents on, on the show, they have one thing um, in common, is that um, they feel the pain of their children, yeah. though. Sometimes it, it can be very challenging to, to just do some shopping, to do something. You know, sometimes people just walking on the street, people call you gay, people call you... Trying other, to insult yeah, you. Yeah, all the insulting words indeed. It's, it's really hard, but you can see the pain that the parents are having as well. If any parents are watching this, support your child, yeah. okay? Take him, take her, take that person, hold that person tight, say I love you, it's gonna be okay. Even if it's difficult. Yeah. Because it's difficult for both people. So. Wise words. I said. Yeah, I'm becoming a doctor now. So. <laughs> I love Envy's boots. Yeah. I love her hair as well. Also she already reminds said. me of, of Bird and Ernie a bit, little bit. But <laughs> yeah. I love it. Why is she holding the boots though? <laughs> She's like, hey, hey, you gotta be okay. <laughs> Envy's mom is so cute, yeah, okay? I love her. Just wanna hug her like mama! She's the only one telling telling a whole book. <laughs> She's like an entire Wikipedia page. Yeah. On the first day of April! <laughs> the music is still all over the place, but whatever. <laughs> Not complaining. They don't it. care. Miss Envy Peru is giving the support that is needed, I think. It's it's really sweet of her. It's really sweet. This is literally the first time that we see Janie in this emotional state, though, because she most of the time she's being yeah, she's kind of bitchy. She has a she has a, a wall up front. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. drag is her shield, and I think this is the time that yeah she let it down. What I say all the time: being a drag queen hurts. Well, sometimes it hurts. Sometimes you don't need parents to support you, just a boyfriend is everything. Hmm. You got us some candy. Thanks, sweetie. We're all in the Halloween mood right now. This is sour candy. Abby is not in the bottom! Surprise! Let's celebrate that. I don't get why Chelsea Boy is in the bottom. No. No. Jane and JK is in the bottom as well. Hmm. Excited to see your lip sync. Yeah. Chelsea Boy and Jenny are lip syncing to 9 to 5 by Dolly Parton. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Her hair. Mm. Oh. Mm. So sad. Bye, Wick. Now she looks like Sasha Velour. Oh, and a reveal. Oh! Mm hmm. Well, well, well. Chelsea Boy is going home. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. Mama Queen should have been in the bottom. But at the end of the day, I don't really care. <laughs> now, based based on the on the lip sync, I think Chelsea Boy should have gone yeah. home though. Yeah. Cause Janie is really a powerhouse. She did great, and her wig didn't fall off. And yeah. She did not forget to lip sync her first. Yeah. Line. Yeah. So, uh, not mad about the. Of course, she should have gone home in this scenario. Mm -hmm. But I don't think this scenario should have happened. But mm -hmm. yeah. Questionable things happen on Drag Race, we know. They're sending the winner home in the first episode, so... Chelsea Boy, out! She's not bitter at all, though. No. So, yes. Chelsea Boy is going home, very yeah. unfortunate. I wish she would have made uh, at least like top three or something. Yeah. Like, imagine her finale gone. Just when I go pretty close on the show, like we were very excited to see each other on the on the show because we have a similar aesthetic. What I did wonder was because Chelsea Boy was doing a very tip, different kind of drag before the yeah. show. It was very mm. uh, club kitty, yeah. gender bendy uh, drag, and for drag race she got more feminine. Yeah, and I'm very excited to see how she will uh, evolve her drag now after the drag race. Mm -hmm. So. I'm also excited to see next week's episode. Yeah! Looks like Maxima the Rusical. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the footage looks really yeah. great. 
Like, damn. We will be reviewing it next week. Yeah. Like we did this week. Um, we are very thankful and grateful yeah. for all your messages, all your support. So we hope you'll be there too. If you like this episode of The Room View, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also go subscribe to Fate's channel. It's all Fate Intervention. Also yes. follow us on social media. It's Room Service. And Fate Intervention. And uh, you can follow us there. We're posting funny content. We're posting yeah. beautiful content. Mm -hmm. Posting all the looks from Drag Race. So go follow us. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share this video with all your drag friends, family, haters, spooky sisters. Ooh. And we're Ooh. still on a team room in this household. Thank you all for watching. And we will see you next week. Bye! Bye-bye! 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 Auf Wiedersehen! Guten Tag! Bye! Adios! Adios, amore! Amores. Amores. Okay, we're leaving. Bye! Bye! <laughs>